Hello everyone, NadLabs here. Today we're going to be making this random rainbow background in the Godot game engine, version 3.2 stable, and let's get right into it. So to make this effect, you're going to want to make a new scene, you're going to want to add a sprite, and you're also going to want to add a timer. And you're going to want to have the sprite as the parent node, it's okay to have it as a parent node, it doesn't always have to be a node 2D area 2D, it can also be a sprite. And what you're going to want to add is just a white square. It doesn't even have to be a square, but it has to be white. All the RGB values have to be at 255, but just make sure it's white. Because when we're going, what we're going to be doing is once we attach the sprite as a texture, we're going to want to be using this modulate property and we're going to want to change it like this so we can get whatever color we want. And the issue is if we did, I'm just going over here for an example. If we took the modulate function on the Godot sprite, and I'm very fond of using the Godot sprite for everything. But the problem is, let me just zoom in. The problem is that whenever we use the modulate property on the Godot sprite, the issue is that the Godot colors themselves because it's a light blue and the dark blue with some white and black. It affects how the color we put onto it shows. So you can see that when I put this green on it, uh, the, there's some green that's lighter, there's some green that's darker. It doesn't look nice if we're trying to make it a background. So that's why we have to make sure that we use just a white canvas. Now, if you want to, you can also go ahead and just grab over here. You can just grab this over here and you just scale it. The scale property is going to be changed when I do this and also the trans, the position property, but you can just put it in the center of your frame and that's about it. And you're probably going to want to save this. I don't want to save this because I've already made it over here. I just called it rainbow back and we're going to attach a script to it. Code is actually very simple and you can copy it if you want. If you already understand it, amazing. But if you want to understand how this code works and potentially make this by yourself without watching the tutorial next time and think from first principles and actually make it, then keep on watching. So of course, once we attach the script to our sprite, it's going to say extend sprite and we're going to make a new col a variable called new color and just use the colon over here and set this uh, variable type to color. It's the only variable we need. This is the ready function. Whatever you put in here will happen once. So we're going to start off by saying randomize. And then we're going to say that the modulate, which is equivalent to saying self.modulate. And if you don't know where we're getting modulate from, if we go over here to the sprite, we can actually see that under visibility modulates a thing. And we can even say, sorry, we could even say self modulate. We can even say show behind parent. We can get all of these properties. And that's what makes Godot such an amazing engine for games because we literally have access to so many properties. We didn't have to code, but we're just going to be using modulate. And I'm going to get rid of self because we don't really need it and it slows down Godot by maybe like 0.1, like 0 0.001 seconds, but whatever. Modulate is going to be equal to a new color and would, and it takes in four arguments. R randf, 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 and 1.0. If you don't know what that is, you can just control, right? That's how I get this. Control, click on color. No, there we go. You just have to click it a couple times. It's a little bit buggy because this is an open source project, right? Nothing's perfect at the moment, but it's always going to get to perfect. And if we go into this color uh, documentation, we can see that we got some information over here. We have some properties. We have some methods, some constants. And these are, these are all the colors that you can actually use that are pre-built with Godot. And then we have all the descriptions of the properties. And I'm just going to give a very tiny tutorial on how to read the documentation. Whatever you come to the documentation, you just want to go to methods and see what you can play with. And we're going to see over here. Oh yeah, we can, if we use the color uh, method, we, um, if we use the color, we can actually set a new color and we see it takes in four arguments, RGB, right? Red, green, blue, and an alpha value. That's what the A stands for. The values we input are going to be between zero and one. And then Godot will do some math and just convert this 0 0.2, whatever, to 51 or 0 0.8 to 204. That's amazing because we just have to say random, random, random. And then because we want to make this a random rainbow background, we just have to make a new color, set it equal to another set of randoms, just set the alpha value to 1.0, unless you want some transparency. Now that we have these two set, if we run it without this, we're just going to have this random color in the background. And you can see that whenever I click R, because if I, I went to the main scene over here and just set that, if I click R, which is where restart in my head, then just reload the current scene. But you can see that when I do this, I just get a random color. But at the same time, I also have a new color in the background which is always generated. Now we have to make use of this, right? Because there's no point in making a new variable without using it. So in the process function, which happens every frame compared to the ready function, which happens once. So every frame, the process function is called. What we're going to say is that modulate is going to be equal to the lerp. Lerp just means linear interpolation between two values. It takes in a weight. So lerp just returns a value in between these two and always moves towards the second one. And it will always do so based on this weight. 
it's kind of like it's like this so let's say i want i have this color and this color so it's going to go like this it's going to move slowly to that that's all it does and that's and the weight you give it affects how quickly it will do that so that's that and we're just going to say when the timer times out reset the color now you're going to say well where'd you get timer from well remember at the beginning we said timer as a child we should have connected this function right if i click connect it says already connected it but you're going to get something like this and you also want to make sure a couple things are true you want to say auto start is equal to true and you can set wait time to whatever you want i found the five works good but just for the sake of the video i'm going to make it two not 23 two and you can see that when i run it i get this random background that just happens really quickly because of the way i put this and you can see that if i change the five rerun the scene and i reran it by clicking f5 by the way and you can see that it just stays at blue for a bit and then it goes slowly ever so slowly to whatever color i think it's going to be a purplish color and then you can see after another five seconds hopefully it's going to change to a different color right so now this is a more like ma mahogany color right and that's all that's all it is that's all you have to do to make this uh tutorial and add it to your project and it's really simple because it's actually a new scene and you can just instance the scene by clicking this chain going to back but we already have two. Oh my god that actually looks so cool but you'll just you can see like it works right you can have multiple of them that'll be really interesting you can use this to your heart's content that's all for this tutorial i might do a part two where i actually show how to limit the random variable so you have a set color palette that's a different video and i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them in the comments and i'll be posting this on jihub the link to the code is in the description anyway please if you have any questions just comment them have a great day